Today I'm going to be showing you how to create custom on hold messages using the on hold plus message studio. Once you open message studio you'll notice that there are two boxes. One for music files and the second for voice files. I'm going to go ahead and add a music file. There are several audio files that already come with message studio. To add a file just click the add button and it'll automatically bring you into the message studio music directory. From here you want to select the style of music that you would like to play. I'm going to go ahead and select this file. The next thing you want to do is add voice files. Your system likely has pre-recorded voice files already. However, if you're using the message studio, you likely want to add your own custom voice files. To do that, simply press the record button and you can record your voice and the messages that you want to play back on your on hold plus system. I recommend using a high quality microphone and recording in a quiet room for best results. To save some time, I have already pre-recorded messages. I'm going to go ahead and add them now. The next step is to change the project time. Project time is determined by the length of the music files and the length of the voice files. Message Studio has two options. The first option is to play a message after so many seconds. This is using the message interval option. The default time is set to 10 seconds, which means every 10 seconds a voice file will play. Once all voice files have played, both music and messages will stop playing and start over. The second option is playtime. This option is used to tell the program to play a song for a specific amount of time. Message Studio will change the interval of how many voice files you have depending on how long you select for playtime. This option is used for longer songs, but most of the songs that come pre-recorded are around a minute or so. So we're just going to use the message interval and we're going to keep the default time to 10 seconds. This is an option that you're going to want to play around with and find what best works for you. We're going to go ahead and keep volume playback at 100% and we're going to change our music fade option to 75. Naturally, music fade will fade the music during a voice file playback. Once you've changed all your settings, just simply press the play project button. Thank you for calling Telecom Business Solutions. Your call is very important to us. Please wait on the line and your call will be answered in the order in which it was received. Telecom Business Solutions sells and services new telephone and voicemail systems specializing in digital hybrid systems and DOIP systems. Once you're satisfied with your settings, your music files, and voice files, you can go ahead and save your project. The last step is to export the audio file to a USB drive, which should be plugged into the OnHold Plus 8000 located in the telephone closet at your business. You want to remove that thumb drive from the OnHold Plus 8000 and plug it into your computer. The last step is to export your audio file, so go ahead and click the Export Audio File button. This option will ask you to save an MP3 or WAV file. MP3 is a smaller file and a WAV is a larger file, however it is of a higher quality. We're going to go ahead and select MP3. You want to make your way to the USB drive. And you'll notice that there are several files on your USB drive already. These are the pre-recorded files that came with your system. Go ahead and save your new file and we'll come back to removing those files here in just a moment. When the project is done, you can choose to close or minimize. If you plan to come back, I suggest minimizing. But the first thing we want to do is we want to open up your thumb drive. You'll notice that there are several files here, like mentioned before. And then here's the file that we saved. These files are pre-recorded, and we probably want to save them just in case something goes wrong 
and we need to go back to the original files that were on the thumb drive. I'm going to go ahead and select all, and then I'm going to cut and paste those in another location. Make sure that the only file that is on the USB drive is the file that you would like to play while a customer is on hold. The on hold plus will play all files located on the USB drive. So once I verified that the file that I would like to play back on the on hold plus 8000 is located on the USB drive, go ahead and close the window, eject and remove the USB drive. The final step is to insert the USB drive back into the on hold plus 8000. Verify that your files are of the quality that you would like. And if you need to make any corrections or changes, just follow these steps and try again. Thank you for watching.